Compressed natural gas, or CNG, is gaining more popularity as a fuel source for fleet owners. Transit systems like the Fort Worth Transportation Authority are seeing the benefits. We have uh, right at 200 vehicles total. There's only six buses on the whole lot that don't run on CNG, and that's mainly because they're, they're older buses and we just haven't gotten rid of them yet. But everything else on the lot, we're, we're like 98% CNG. But for all intents and purposes, our route, our route fleet is 100%. Everything we run, the transit routes are CNG. Talks began back in the, the late 80s in the state of Texas where they were going to make uh, alternative fuels mandatory, especially for mass transit fleets. So we got into discussions with other transit fleets, gas companies, and anybody else that could help us uh, get information on what to do, how to go about uh, making this stuff work. After all was said and done, we decided that um, CNG was something we could make work. And so uh, over time, we, we learned many, many things and we got to where we, we were very comfortable with them. Our buses don't smoke. I never get complaints about smoking buses. Now, you might get complaints about, you know, maybe big buses or, or not carrying enough people or, or doing other things, but never smoking buses. So it's real refreshing to, to have a fleet of buses that you don't have to worry about that aspect of it. Well, again, it's a misconception and it, it's probably based on history because in the early days they wouldn't go very far. But today, with all the, again, with the technology being what it is, they will go, uh, we run some buses over 350 miles and still don't need to be refueled. So that's not a problem. Range is not a problem. The miles between oil changes, that was um, increased by 25%. Um, so where we used to do them every 6,000 miles, now we do them every 7,500 miles. So that's a benefit, saves money. Uh, again, the wear and tear on the engines is, is much less. So from, from a maintenance perspective, it's, it's more economical. And again, it's clean. Our safety record is, uh, for all intents and purposes, it's perfect. I mean, we have never had a fire or explosion as a result of CNG. Uh, we have actually had accidents where buses have been hit in the tanks. We've had, bus, we've had accidents where a bus actually have hit bridge abutments with the tanks. No explosions, no nothing. Uh, in fact, we had one bus hit a tank that uh, all but destroyed the tank. I sent it out and had it tested and, it, and they tested it at like something like 8,000 pounds before they could ever bust the tank. And it, and it was, you know, we only run 3,600 pounds, so there was no doubt that this tank was not in any danger of rupture. We've never had a tank blow, never. We really think that we're contributing to the clean air of our city and uh, the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex area has an air pollution problem. Uh, even today we're under a, an orange level of air pollution. A lot of it is automobiles and more people that can take buses, right there you save air pollution by having those cars off the road. But if they're taking buses that are powered by clean burning natural gas, it's even better. So we're very proud of that and we really feel like we have a mission to help clean up the air in Fort Worth. We're so used to it on a day-to-day -day basis, probably a lot of times we don't stop and think about it. But when you do stop and think about it, or if you look out there and you see one of those, let's just say diesel trucks and stuff going down the street dumping the black air, it's a quick reminder that, hey, you are doing something good. The, the environment is very important and, and we're part of it. So yeah, we're, we're very proud of that. Learn more about converting your fleet to CNG, visit cngnow.com.